Okay, folks, we are live. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Back again with another live stream. We're going to do a live unboxing today of a product that I got a hands-on with a prototype a few months back, the HP Elite, or actually part of the Elite Book line, but it's the HP Dragonfly Folio G3. Hopefully you can hear me and see me okay. I'm trying a different microphone. I still have this one, the Shure SM7B ready to rock. We need it. Uh, but I do have a microphone off camera here and it's the Sennheiser MKH416, a more professional boom microphone. So I don't have to be tied down to any lavalier mic or any mic in my face. So let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. I can always switch to the other mic and let me know if I'm coming in too hot. Maybe the peak levels, I can lower it a little bit, but hopefully it's good. And I don't know if we feel like wearing monitors to monitor the audio. So great sound according to Jafar. Okay, good to, good to know that. All clear, sounds good. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. Hopefully, hopefully everybody had a great November. We're now into December and even more stuff coming from the channel. Believe it or not, I still have a backlog of stuff I'm going to be rolling out. I'm also going to New York next week. So I have a couple of press briefings to attend uh, that I, uh, I'm looking forward to to see what's coming up for 2023. So hopefully that will make its way. Uh, obviously, I'll be getting review units and so forth. Court to Handquake. Professional soccer, a sport created to make millionaires of all those kids we played with who would fall down and fake injuries until their mommy came out and told all the other kids they were mean. <laughs> I guess we were eliminated, the U.S., so uh, sorry to hear that. But that's life, right? Um, so hopefully next time, the next World Cup, we will do better. But I didn't watch it, so... Uh, I just saw somebody mentioned it earlier. Let's say I'll load a few people as people are filing in. We already have 53 of you. Good to see Tech Realm. He's not. A, he's upset. The U.S. was eliminated, and that's brought to us by <laughs> Galerme from France. Hello, everybody. Sorry for the team's elimination. Okay. Good to see Patrick uh, Hermskirk. Hemskirk. No. Hems. Yeah, Hemskirk. Okay. Woohoo! Something to do. Good morning to Handquake. Uh, OST anime. Uh, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. And then Patrick will watch us later because he's enjoying the victory of the Netherlands against the USA. Okay. <laughs> Let's take it easy. Uh, here, one bad man says we're hearing just fine. Good to see you. Uh, hopefully you're doing well. And Affiliate Jumpstart has this laptop. It's pretty good. I like the way it switches to tablet mode. Yeah. So for those that are interested after the live stream, of course, go back and check out my uh, first hands-on look with it. That was the uh, HP. This is one we have here today. But I have a retail unit, a, a really a shipping unit. And there were some things in that prototype, obviously, that needed to be worked on. Camera had a few, actually, there was a few spots here and there on it. But you can see here, we have it here today. We're ready to go. And without further ado, let's see how many people we have here. I think we're ready to go on this. Uh, yeah, I think we got about 50 of you. So without further ado, let's get this out of the box. So... Let me switch to this camera and you can get a look over here. So there it is. And let's get this out of the box. Got the big boy knife. Okay, let's see what HP sent over. So again, not gonna be too many surprises because we already looked at the prototype, but the packaging already is retail packaging. So. I can already tell this is going to be a lot nicer, obviously, than a prototype, which would, of course, was a work in progress. We'll just leave this over here. That's everything in the box. So you get some warranty information here. You can see it there. And let's put that to the side. We don't really need that. And then we have the Dragonfly. And I like the packaging right off the bat. Again, this is a really nice presentation. You can see it here. And I want to thank HP for sending this retail shipping unit over. Uh, don't mind the Lenovo mug there. <laughs> <Just with> that. <laughs> I don't want to upset them. Oh, it's a, cut open a little bit. I guess they checked each model before they sent it out. That's good. Okay, sorry about the bracket there. 
So really nice packaging. And here you can see on the side, they do have the diagrams of putting it into the different modes. Again, pull forward design. And that's really nice, okay? So let's, uh, let's open the lid up here. Okay. Very nice, very, very nice. Ooh, feels good, all right. We'll get to that in a moment. So let's open this up. And here you can see, very nice presentation. We get your 65 watt, we've seen this, USB-C charger from HP. It's got a nice um, braided cable on it, so you don't have to worry about it snagging, ripping, stuff like that. Really good quality there. And it's also travel friendly. And they also, of course, give you your power cord that you'll need. And then you have the pen here. So the pen, this is really nice presentation. The pen here, as you can see, comes with different nubs on it or replacement nubs and a pen re uh, tip remover tool. You can see it here. Uh, very, very nice. Very nice. I like that. This is something a little bit different than we've seen in the past from HP. Very nice. And then, of course, the pen. Now, what's going to be good about this pen is the fact that you can charge it and store it on the device, but there's a little latch that connects magnetically that comes out to greet the pen, and it's pretty secure connection on my prototype, but we'll see how it is on, the, um, on this retail shipping unit that HP sent over. Let's take off the plastic here. Okay, so the pen will come in handy, and that's, of course, great for taking notes, sketching out artwork, and the like. And let's see what else we can find in here. I think we also get some more documentation, but maybe they give us something else here. Let's see. Yeah, this is documentation here from HP, and you can see it there. Uh, really nice stuff here. And again, it gives you a nice diagram of what you can expect when you get this unit. Not cheap, of course. I left the link in the description below, and according to my press briefing the other day from HP, they said this unit that I have here is about $2,200. I think there are three display options, one being a privacy display with that shore view, 1,000 nits. Then you can get an OLED option on custom order if you're a business user, the 2.8K OLED. I believe it's the same three to two aspect ratio we saw with the HP Spectre X360. So that's an option. Or you can get the full HD plus option, which is the 1920 by 1280, which is what this is going to be. So let's put this to the side. So that's a really nice presentation. Kudos to HP on that. And then of course we get this. Okay, so let's uh, take the plastic the wax paper off of it. And I can tell already, and I can tell already, this is a much nicer finish to it than that prototype. Again, I didn't expect a lot out of that prototype, and you can see it here. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, now, they're calling this, no longer calling it vegan leather. It's not real leather. It's called, uh, it's a polyurethane but it actually has a very nice premium feel. Let me smell it. Doesn't smell bad at all. Sometimes you get these polyurethane laptops and they don't smell so great. <laughs> um, so what I'm talking about with the pen is if you take the pen, and I believe you can do it this way. Let's see, you can sort of see it here. Let's try to get a good angle for you. And see, to get there you could sort of see it there let me see if i can do it on this angle yeah it sort it comes out and greets it and it's a nice secure connection and you can see it here very nice it's hard to get a good lighting on that one but again i have different angles here uh very very nice people let me know what you think uh 77 of you watching make sure you hit that like button that gets it spread out over youtube and then, of course, um, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's open it up because this um, is a really nice package here. Let's go to this angle. And then, of course, this opens up. And I can tell you right away, this is a much better feel to it than that prototype. But I could see that's going to get some fingerprints. Um, very good. And I think you can also connect it this way. Let me see. 
No, it has to go that one way because I think it will... Yeah, see, it only goes that one way. And it's a pretty good connection, by the way. I think it's a, even a little bit better than my prototype. All right, let's get some questions before we let, turn this on. Chat has mods in it for trolls. Yes, that is right, Bad Ben. Good to see Montauk Weller here. And then I went to keep this long term. I want to keep this long term. I want the 16. So you have this. Okay. Nice small charger. Do you have this? Or are you talking about something else, one bad man? How's the battery life? Uh, so I guess he does have it. So I, I have it at, I had the prototype. So I'm not going to take too much out of that in terms of battery life and also. But I can tell you that prototype wasn't bad. Let me turn it on. Let me see if it has juice here. It does. Now, one of the things you're going to like about this, again, is that pull forward design. You can go here. And then, of course, you can put it all the way down. And then you can, of course, use it in laptop mode. What I like about this part is you can put it to where the touchpad is. And you can have the touchpad access along with using it in an easel mode. Uh, I like that. I like that. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. You're talking about your MacBook Air M2, which is a good laptop, of course. We looked at it here on the channel. Um, so while this is booting up, I don't know if this is going to be a first boot or they booted it up at the factory <laughs> for me to check out. But we'll see. Looks like it might be a first boot. So we'll get it all set up. Yeah, it's going to be a first boot. So let's... Uh, Let's set it up. The display again, full HD, 1920 by 1280, three to two aspect ratio. So my, okay, so my microphone sounds too far away. Okay. I can switch microphones, but one bad van. What do you think, people? Should I switch back? Is it too far away? Let me, let me see what I can adjust here. Let's see. Just sounds like I'm talking. Yeah, because it's uh, it's a boom mic. I'm gonna have that dialed in. Let me. I can switch over. Hold on. Give me a second. Let's see which you're gonna like this one better. I'm sure. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Can you hear me better? This should be a lot better. I just wanted to try something new. All right. Let me know, chat. Okay, so let's get this set up. And let me connect to my Wi-Fi. Hold on one second. Let me put this on me. Everything happening live, folks. A lot less echo. Yeah. So this is always going to be better because it's right there in front of my mouth. Okay. We'll just go this way. That sounded like I was down the hall. All right. That's not, that's not the, the sound I was looking for. But this will work, right? Okay, let's uh, let's get this connected, and let's see what's going on, folks. Damn, is your hair starting to grow? What products you use? Uh, I'm going to get a haircut, actually. <laughs> it's I'm not growing it. It's starting to uh, lose it, actually. <laughs> um, So this is a problem we have here um, in, in, and we're seeing this in, in, in the United States here. This is a problem with this kind of comment, this clown here. This is what he's saying. Not liking Jews equals a timeout here. I don't think there was ever a problem on this channel. I stand for freedom of speech. First of all, how do you know if I'm Jewish or not, number one? Because uh, I don't talk about religion here. And number two, you're a fucking clown, you stupid asshole. So guess who's getting the boot? That piece of garbage. So we don't stand for anti-Semitism here. We don't stand for hate here on this channel. We don't stand for any kind of racism, okay? So that's just stupid. And he doesn't know what religion. I don't talk about that. So assuming things are, you're just being a stupid idiot. Um, and people often refer, refer to me as being part of uh, being connected, you know, so to speak, with the Sopranos and so forth. And I get the uh, Robert De Niro stuff. So, you know, it's just stupid. No, he's already banned, Arcane. He's already banned. Yeah, it's just stupid. Okay, so, uh, and we don't stand for any kind of hatred here. So, 
people like that are gone from the channel anyway let's come back to the the fun stuff here right and this is the hp um elite well or whatever you want to call it the the dragonfly well that really just makes me upset uh when people are stooping stupid to you know just showing their stupidity what's wrong with people damn they're just retarded or something i don't know what's going on all right let's set it up for personal use we'll just go with that all right good to see everybody <laughs> Hate to bring in such a downer, but I had to ban that son of a bitch. Okay, so let's uh, let me sign into my Microsoft account. Okay, all right, so. Oh, I'm, I don't care. I mean, I care because it's becoming a problem here in the United States. Um, so I, I really don't like what I'm seeing here. Uh, and it's bad enough in the world we're seeing this. And now we're seeing it here in the U.S. It's just ridiculous. Um, when are we going to all learn from this crap? So let me set this up as a new device. So less echo on this. Okay, that's good. All right. It was not that guy who he was referring to another user who got timed out. I, I don't know what's going on in the chat. Why is it on the weekends I get the clowns? Is it the, is it the, it's, it's funny. We don't get this on the, when we do it at night because I guess the, they're sleeping. I, I don't know. Just the stupidity. But anyway, Let's uh, let's let's move on here. So I guess it has that presence detection. By the way, this has an eight megapixel camera that's supposed to be fantastic. I looked. A, we got a sneak peek at it with the one we did. Now let's set it up. Let's set up the face recognition here. So let's get this all set up. A little glossy display. They do sell one with a matte display that has an anti glare on it. That's not the one we have here. So there is one, I believe, that they do sell. So those that don't like glossy displays, you will um, you will have an option here. So that's good. All right, let's set the pin up here. And you can see it's already ready to go time out. A lot of security features. It's got the wolf security on it. You can see here. Keyboard's looking really good. Now, take a look at the layout. Let me know what you think about the layout. Um, and you will see that it's pretty nice. Um, I like typing on these HP keyboards at business line. The Elite Book keyboards have been great. Uh, this is really good as well. Okay, let's see here. Okay, very clean, Arcane, very clean. Very nice. So far, loving what I'm seeing here so far. We could also set up an Android phone according to this. We don't need to do that now. And um, let's see what else. So this is going to have vPro. So for those business users that require that, you're going to get it. Um, we don't need that. We don't need that. Okay. And let's... Uh, myself down there see how it like times out because it dims the screen that's pretty interesting i may have to turn that off for the live stream but for now we'll just keep it going until we get it set up and my network's telling me there's a new device connected so we are connected oh this has 5g so you can get it with 4g lte and there's an option for 5g they gave us the 5g and i'm going to take this to new york to test it out the prototype they sent over also had 5G, and that worked very, very well on that. One thing I'm noticing, this is glossy. The one that they sent over had that matte display. So this is one difference I'm seeing already. And good to see uh, Dr. Sir, Mr. Dr. Esquire. <laughs> uh, you have the same square plant in the office. Okay. In your office. Nice. Actually, it looks fine, but it is expensive. Yeah, Omer, it's expensive. 
Uh, but the one they sent over, this is about 2,200 according to that press briefing I had. Not a fan of the half size up and down hours. We've we've heard this complaint before. And what he's talking about is these half size up and down right here. So it is uh, pretty, pretty nice. And according to One Bad Van, I wish cellular connectivity was more common on laptops by now. So, so still so many places with crap Wi-Fi. It's not only that. I don't trust, I don't, One Bad Van, I don't trust the Wi-Fi hotspots from these chain restaurants, Starbucks, all that. I would, if I'm having sensitive information passing back and forth, I'd rather at least have my cellular connection. Not to say that that's going to be totally 100%, but I think it's a lot more secure, in my opinion, than using a public Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, you could also say, well, why don't you just use your phone as a hotspot? That has its own inconveniences, although perfectly fine, you can do it. I just like having a separate, dedicated line to get work done. So for me, that's what I like to do. All right, so we're all booted up here, and you can see it here. It is a glossy display. You can really get a look here. And um, very nice. So this is definitely brighter than the one they sent over last time. That's for sure. And again, you have the option to put it in the pull forward. You can put it into the tablet mode. And then, of course, you can use it as a pen, or with the pen, rather, as a tablet. And you can pin apps to your pen menu. Use your pen. It tells you... Um, you can see here, uh, you can take a screenshot with the pen. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to choose here, setting it up. Um, you can choose whether you're left-handed or right-handed. We'll do that later. Choose what your pen button does, so that's customizable on here. You can definitely do that. That's always good. And you can write your text to enter, so you can do all kinds of uh, handwriting recognition and stuff. That is also come in handy. So all your pen settings are here and very nice. So the pen has some really nice responsiveness. And if it's anything like the prototype they sent over a couple of months back, it's going to be great for taking notes, sketching out diagrams and the like. So it works out pretty well. Now, the fact of the matter is, let's take a look. Let me, uh, let me see what the specs are in here. Let's go to the system page here and... The system page is telling us that we have the Core i7-1265U. We know about this one. This has 10 cores, 8 efficiency cores, and I believe 2 performance cores. It's got integrated Iris XE graphics. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, but you can configure it up to 32. That is soldered into the motherboard. You can open this up, and there is a video that HP put out on how to open it up because it's not quite as straightforward because of the the vegan or whatever you want to call it because of the cover here. This has to be removed, lifted up in order to access the screws to remove the bottom plate. And what is user upgradable, and again, HP has a, and, I, and when we're done, I'll link it in the video description here uh, of where you can open this up and then upgrade the SSD. So very, very good in terms of upgrading SSD storage. And I believe the one they sent over I don't know how much. And that, by the way, that worked really good. The face recognition. And then this one has uh, 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. And it is PCIe Gen 4. So if you are looking for any kind of uh, expandability as far as the SSD, you can do it. RAM, no, you cannot upgrade it. And again, this has the 5G built in the modem. It's actually a modem that is replaceable and it's an option you can go with. You'll pay extra for it, but I think it might come in handy. Will this come with an, oh, uh, an AMD version? I don't believe so. I think this is an Intel. Uh, they're using that Wolf security here. You can see it here, Wolf security. Let's, uh, let's get this plugged in and let's um, test out webcam. Let's test out some couple of benchmarks if we can. Let's, uh, there, is there HDMI on this? We're going to have to use our adapter. Again, let's go over the ports. I forgot to go over the ports. Let's do that real quick. And you can see here, let's just, uh, let's just go over the ports real quick here. You can see here there's a heating vent there. This is a headphone jack right there. And then you got two Thunderbolt 4 ports. And these are all on the uh, right side. And then you have your SIM tray for your optional 5G. And I love the fact you don't need a tool to remove it. Just clicks right out of there. And then there you go. You have your SIM tool. You don't need a SIM tool. You have your SIM tray there 
for your 5G and you put your nano SIM there. I don't, I believe it might also do eSIM. I'm not sure. I'll look into that. And then on this side, you get your latch here for your pen storage, obviously. And then this, I'm not sure what this is. Um, this might be a sensor of some sort. I'm not really sure. And then this is another heat vent there. So you can see it there, another heat vent. Um, so no need for a SIM tool to remove that. That's been pretty good. You can just pop in your SIM card, nano SIM, and you're ready to get connected. So that's good. And then again, I'll look into whether or not this, this should support eSIM. I would imagine it does, but you never know. I don't know. Let me uh, pause for a moment and go get my, my adapter so we can connect the HDMI here so we can get to showing the webcam and so forth. I'll be right back. I can't find my other adapter, but we'll use this one. Okay. Where is it? I got it here somewhere, but you know, sometimes I lose things in this mess here. Okay, let's uh, let's connect this to one of the ports and let's take a look at the webcam first because I'm curious to see this eight megapixel camera. It looked good on the one I had, but there were a few issues on it. Let's see if they remedied that. All right, so if I go to here, you should be able to see it, okay. And let's plug this in also, because we need a little juice here as well. So let me just plug this in on this one. Okay, so now we're plugged in, and let's turn on the camera here, okay. And so yes, we want location to be used, that's fine. Woo. Oh, this is better than the prototype they sent over. I can tell you already. Wow. So eight megapixel camera here. Let's go to the video settings. You can do all the way up to, this is something different from last time. I think we were able to do 1440p. This one is 1836, even higher, 1836p, which I don't know if I've ever seen before on a laptop. Uh, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I'll test the microphones in my full review. Um, you also get a few extra bells and whistles here. You can do background effects, which I don't know. I guess we have to do that in the HP app. We can turn that in a moment. You can do auto framing, eye contact. So let's go to the HP app here. And I don't know if it's, uh, let's see, we just press that button. That brings up, let's see here. Hold on. Let that load in for the first time. Okay, so this is the HP app that we can use to play with the settings here. So welcome to my HP. And let's just go to it, skip this step. So let's talk about the camera here. All right, so auto framing is off. So if I put on auto framing here, as I sip my coffee, you can see that it did come into frame. And I could do full body, upper body, head and shoulder. Very interesting, okay? Let's just do full body. Always keeping you in frame. We got our first super chat. We'll get to that, Bradley, in a moment. Enhancement, lighting, adjustment. So if I turn that off, you can see a little blown out, but I think if you put on the lighting adjustment, it does take that into account a little bit better. And then we can blur the background. Can't turn on when auto framing is on. So we need to turn off auto frame in order to get the black background blur effect, which you can see here. So this is Intel V Pro uh, Chandula who's asking. Yes, so background blur effect. But let's go with no background blur. Let's go with the auto framing for now. And let's go back to our camera app, the Windows camera app. And let's see here. See how the lighting adjustment took place there. And again, 1836p, the eight megapixel camera. This is the first time. Now, first of all, this is the first eight megapixel we've seen in the laptop. I think this might be the only one. Second thing is people, 
Um, this is uh, HP's been killing it in the webcam game this year. I thought their uh, what was it? Their um, I forgot what they called it. The not the beauty, the HP glamour, or the glamour effect, or the HP the glamour cam, the glam cam, the glam cam. That's what they called it. All right, let's say hello to Bradley and with a really nice ten dollars super chat. Thank you, Bradley. I slow like other arm device. Is it slow like other ARM devices? Let's talk about this. So the pre the predecessor, this is not ARM, Bradley. This is not ARM. The predecessor, which we looked at a couple of years ago, the HP Elite Folio had the ARM processor, the S, the HCX Gen 2. This one, they decided to go with a 12th Gen U-series processor. It's going to be a lot better and have much better compatibility with certain applications. You pretty much can run any, everything on this. Everything can be run on this. So you will be a lot better off on this one. And you still get that same pull-forward design with a very unique pen solution here. Full-size pen rather than a pen that looked like a carpenter's pen. I think that one had it uh, in that previous model and then again no longer with arm you're getting a traditional u-series processor 10 cores eight efficiency cores and two performance cores so it is a good looking webcam so i'm very happy with this um you can see it here i think this looks really good eight megapixels now one thing you're gonna have to note there's no shutter switch on this one unlike other uh windows laptops we've been seeing lately other HP laptops, because over here, they put this eight megapixel camera, you can over here, and they weren't able to get enough room to put a shutter switch like you could in the other HP laptops we've been seeing. So a little bit of a negative there, but there is a button here. Let's see if I do press it. And it does have an electronic shutter, but there is no physical shutter like we got. Remember that silver, but you can turn it off over here, software-wise, which is still giving you privacy and security, just not getting that physical shutter that they put in in the other laptops. The keyboard, Sam, is actually pretty good. Let's take a look at it. Um, I like it. Good key travel. It's got a nice backlight on it. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just a matter of personal preference, right? I'm a big ThinkPad guy, of course, you know, and I like the keyboards, but I love these HP keyboards on their business line as well, the Elite Books and so forth. It's sort of like Apple Center Stage camera, but they use the ultra wide. Yeah, the Center Stage camera is really good. Now, I just picked up, by the way, I'm going to have a review on it, the M2 iPad Pro 11 inch. Now, I've been using a iPad Pro 12.9 inch, third gen from 2018. Uh, I wanted to get something a little bit more portable and I'm using the 11 inch and I'll have a video on it probably this week before I go to New York. Uh, it has cellular connectivity and I'm liking it. it actually has the M2 chip. It doesn't really take full advantage of the M2 chip. We're going to have a talk about that very soon in that. Um, okay. So where are we? We're at, uh, we got 35 minutes in here. We got it out of the box. We have 71 of you watching. That's been pretty good. Um, I agree. The iPad pros have been pretty nice. I just wish they have final cut pro for the iPad. That would make it a killer portable device for me. I'm just waiting for that. I know DaVinci resolve is coming for the iPad and that's going to take more advantage of that M2 chip. We'll see. So the service laptop keyboard is obviously detachable coma. And do I like it better than the one we have here? No, I think this is always going to be better as far as a typing experience on a traditional sturdy keyboard we have. Although that was a good one on that signature type cover. This is just uh, a different ball game because you're really dealing with, you know, full size, full tactility, full key travel on this. I like it. I think they made a good job. They did a good job on it. The DaVinci Resolve, the new desk, they made a new desktop DaVinci Resolve. Yes, I have it. I just seen it yesterday. It looks very impressive. I use DaVinci Resolve to color grade. I've uh, been starting to do more color grading on it, and I've been using that and then just importing the video over to Final Cut Pro to do my editing. But I may just full full time on DaVinci at some point because I'm noticing more and more I'm going to DaVinci Resolve. How's the back cover? Um, how does the back cover feel on this? So it actually feels pretty good. This is like a, a vegan leather. They're not calling it vegan leather. They're calling it um, 
polyurethane is what it is. <laughs> um, it's got a leather-like feel. It's got an etching of HP here. You can see it there. Um, you can see it there. Uh, it's very nice. It actually feels a little bit nicer than the prototype, which is not an, uh, too unexpected here that I we got that prototype a few months back, but that definitely had a more matte display. This has a glossy display. But this is a brighter display, and I think this is going to be a little bit more sharper, although I do prefer matte displays, as everybody knows. All right, let us uh, let me load in some of these benchmarks here. Let me do it real quick. Let me go to the thumb drive here, and let me just do a couple of these benchmarks today. I do have to get a haircut today, so I do have to leave uh, probably 10.30, 10.45 to end the stream, but we'll see. We'll see how far we'll go. Let me take this one, this one, and this one, and let's just put this in the down. Oops, let's just put this in the downloads folder. Give me a second, if I can do with some dexterity here. Okay, so that's moving over. You can see it here. I put myself down here. So good night live stream so far. Yeah, the T14S. Remind me if we, I believe we had, when we looked at it last year, I didn't get the new one, Sam, but didn't we, were able to get upgradable RAM on the T14 or is it was the S also upgradable? I don't remember, but I remember that being a feature that really stood out to me. I, again, we hardly see re upgradable RAM anymore. I was seeing this affiliate links in the description and now I'm not sure if this is sponsored. Abu, I'm not sponsored. I'll tell you if I'm sponsored. And by the way, I have a deal sponsorship deal coming with once again it was so successful last month with best buy that they asked me to do it again for december so thank everybody for a record-breaking november we got close to um we didn't quite get the million views in the one month but we got close we got almost nine hundred thousand. so i want to thank everybody for a great november and i'm hoping for an even better december but who knows how these things go. But again, I will be doing something with Best Buy again. I want to thank them. They were a sponsor there. But Abu, I'm not sponsored on this. HP sends this over for me to check out. They have no copy approval. They get no say in what I say, and they're not paying me. So once this these reviews and live streams are over, these go right back to where they came from. So not sponsored. ThinkPads have, uh, by the way, the affiliate link is so I can help support the channel and I get a small commission if you go through my link. So that's how it works. And that's pretty upfront. I think everybody knows that. So one bad man says his December is starting off terrible. Uh, 104 fever before my Whistler vacation. Oh, no. My nose is running. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's sorry to hear that, man. That Hope you feel better. Hope you feel better. That's not great, especially when you want to go skiing and stuff, right? I recently ordered the Dell Precision 5470 in Black Friday, waiting patiently. Wow, that's a good one. That's one of my favorites. And by the way, um, I will be having my best laptops of the year. I'm almost done with it. So hopefully next couple of days, I will have that. And the 5470 will be on that. So just for those wondering, that is my quote unquote XPS 14 on steroids, end quote. So just stay tuned for that. Uh, that was a good one. Just uh, get better, get better, and then hopefully you'll be able to have some fun on your vacation. Okay, so let's put it over here. So these are loaded in. Let me um, let me do the Geekbench first. Let's just do it. Let's get, see what score we get. And then let me see if I have to put it in, and we'll put it into the performance mode here before we get that. Let me just see here, power and sleep settings. Let's put it, right now it's in balance mode. Let's put in best performance. And then let me see if the HP app requires me to, uh, let's see if the HP app allows us to go into the different power modes or the HP power utility. I think it's the power on this one, if I remember correctly, hold on. So wait, let's see, this one has, no, I think it's gonna be the power utility. Yeah, so that just does the camera. So if I go here, HP power, oh yeah, power manager, that's it. Some of them are different, but this one's the power manager. Is this the nine watt variant? I believe, let's see, hold on, we can look this up. I can look this up, hold on, give me a second. Is this the nine watt variant? Uh, who's asking this one bad van? Let's look it up real quick. 
So this is the Core i7. So the Core i7-1265U processor, according to Intel's website, is 10 cores. That's two performance cores, eight efficiency, as we talked about. It's 15 watts. This is the 15-watt variant, not the lower-powered 9-watt. Okay, so power manager done. All right, so let's uh, let's switch this to the performance mode if we can. System control, but while this is starting to access my battery, yeah, so you don't have to trust me. There's no rule that you have to trust me, so don't buy it. I don't care. That's for you. That's for you to decide. Okay, so uh, you got performance, acoustic, and temperature. So let's go to the performance here. And right now it's on, you can see balance, cool, quiet, and performance. Good to see Silk 95 here. And then you can see temperature and all that. Let's see what that is. Okay, acoustic. Okay, so we're on performance here. So we can close that out. And let's set up this. What's wrong? What's wrong with people today? Why are they so nasty? What's going on? Is they having a bad day? Thank you. I appreciate that uh, one bad van. Sam, if you ever watched my reviews, you know that they are genuine. The manufacturers don't get to see any preview. They get no cop. No, they don't. And I'll tell you if there's some problem. I don't hide it. I tell you the good, the bad. I'll, I take a risk, people. When I put pros and cons in my videos, believe me, there are some... Uh, some brands that do not like that, and I don't work with them because of that. So I put pros, cons, and I give a score. Something other reviewers are afraid to do. I don't do it. Okay, so I no 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 offense taken, um, Sam. Okay, you're not talking about me. All right, good. So then I take back that. that you, 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 thank you, Sam. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's run the CPU benchmark. So you can see it here. Okay. This is a one-man band, people. It's not that easy to run these live streams, by the way. Let's see how the stream is doing. Well, that's working on it. Um, so far, it's looking pretty good. So if you want to give a super chat, super sticker, memberships are open. We have a nice, healthy, growing membership. Uh, we also have um, super thanks for my videos on demand. So those are good too. And we got another super chat from our good friend, Pete Fox. So let's get him onto the stream here. Okay, there you go. Nice. Another $9.99. Great live stream and looks like a nice device. Yes, very nice. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm taking this to New York uh, this upcoming week to do my... Um, I'm glad you do trust me. Thank you, Sam. Uh, definitely taking this to New York with this 5G on it. I want to test this, put it through the uh, rigors of everyday uh, use, and actually see how it is as a travel laptop, and I will do a video on it. So I'll tell you my findings of it, maybe vlog it a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how the battery life does, the 5G in New York City. Um, we'll see. Thank you, Igor. I appreciate that. And according to Mark Williams, we are able to make we are able to make decisions as adults. I appreciate being able to watch videos like this and to help me do research. No, I listen. I couldn't do this without you guys, right? Without you guys watching, there's nothing here that for me to do. So you're you're the reason I'm doing. You're the, I'm your advocate, right? So with the brands, I'm not beholden to them. I'm beholden to you guys. All right, uh, William is saying hello. Nothing like a good, honest review of these PCs. Thank you. I appreciate that, William. Uh, I do appreciate that. And before I forget, can you talk about CS at the end of the stream? It only takes a little more than, it's only a little bit more than four weeks away. So while this is running, in, and we can talk about it now, actually, that's a good segue. Thank you, uh, Handquake. Um, so CES is coming this year, and of course, it's in Las Vegas, and it'll be in full force this year. Uh, there's not going to be that watered down version like last year, again, as we were coming out of the pandemic. So CES 2023 here, uh, I will be here, of course. I will be, I have my meeting set up. So I am ready to rock and roll on that. And uh, here you can see our first uh, result here. And again, things probably working. This is, this is pretty much what I expect, about 16, 13 in the single core. Multi-core, probably I would add another, and we don't need all this crap. We can probably add another, um, God, all this just crap here. 
um, we can add another thousand to that once everything is updated. So that's been pretty much the experience on these live streams. What happens is all the drivers get updated and get and all the windows updates come in. And then you're seeing about probably, well, I would say closer to 70, 7,100. There you go. No problem from Sri Lanka. So getting back to CES Handquake, um, that's coming up here in Las Vegas. I will be doing meetings there. And if anybody's here for CES, other creators or just viewers or just want to hang out, let me know. We can schedule something, put something together, maybe get a meetup and just hang out, maybe have a drink, coffee, whatever. Let me know if you're here in Las Vegas and that'll be great. Now, I am going to New York, as I mentioned, to preview a couple of things coming up. I'm looking really forward to that. Coming back, I will be going on a little vacation, which I obviously need. You can see how tired I am. Uh, once I'm back from vacation, it's right to CES. So, okay. So I'm taking criticism. By the way, they, they are your orders to take the feedback positively. I don't know what you're talking about, Northman. Nobody's criticizing me. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. What, what's wrong with people today? <laughs> <laughs> I do a live stream. It's the week I got. It must be the weekends or when we do the gaming laptops. That's why have you noticed? I've got plenty of gaming laptops. I haven't been able to do live streams because it's just, it's not fun when the people are just re acting stupid. And we have, and earlier this stream, I don't mean to harp on it, but we had a really bad uh, racist thing come on. We had to ban them. Uh, we don't tolerate any kind of hatred towards anybody, race, religion, color. Uh, we don't tolerate it here. You're going to get the boot. It's just not tolerated. Okay. So there you go. Uh, confused by that comment as well. I, I, what's wrong with people today? I just, it's, it's, I, is it me? <laughs> Maybe it's me. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I mean, what the hell? Oh my God. It's December. People are stressed out. Yeah. The, this is like when suicides are like at their highest, right? I mean, that's terrible, but I guess the holidays bring out a lot of, uh, emotional stuff. And so people are just not able to deal with it, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe just people are stupid. You know, stop, that, stop acting stupid. It's the haircut. <laughs> I have, no, no, I have to get a haircut. I just combed it, but I have to get a haircut. That's why I have to leave probably, uh, we have another few, like 15 more minutes or so. But let's get back to business here while we still have some time here. Uh, um Let's uh, let's bring in. A, let's do this compute benchmark real quick, and you can see it here. Fortnite event today, and kids are excited. Is there a Fortnite? Okay. How does it work as a writing tablet? We can take a look at that in a moment. Again, we have the pen here it's charging, and it charges pretty quick, um, and it stores magnetically. And the pen is actually looking pretty good. You can see it here. Uh, pretty good stuff here. Pretty good stuff. Oh, and let's take a look at this. So it's asking me to pair the pen. So we want to get those extra functionality. Let's say connect. And now the pen is paired. Hair looking good. So maybe I shouldn't get the haircut. <laughs> Please check. Does it also have Omen Gaming Hub installed? This is not a gaming laptop, but you know what? You can never know. So let's see. No, they don't, they're not going to put it on here. They're not going to put it on here. Um, <laughs> suicide and holidays. I unfortunately know that too well. Been off work since Easter, since a man used my train to do his dirty work from, oh no. Anyways, enough downers for today. Yeah, wow. That's not good. Um, hopefully, you know, people will will enjoy these hol this holiday season. There's no time to be down. Life, you know, throws you some curveballs. I know personally, people, I've been through a lot in my life. I don't talk about it, but I've been through a lot. So, uh, and to see me here today, um, being able to persevere and have a channel where I'm going to approach 135,000 this week, um, it looks like. And then we have 31, we're coming on 32 million views. I couldn't, you couldn't tell me 10 years ago where my life was and compared to now, it's like being like saying, um, it's night and day and I, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm thankful and, um, 
there's nothing more to say other than I'm humbled by it. But the way I'd be able to do it, I appreciate it, people. And to be able to tune in every week and every few days when I release videos and everybody comes to watch, that means a lot to me. Because if you knew how hard it was to get to this point, um, you would understand. So I'm glad you do it. Get the 9430. I have it. It's awesome. So I did the 94. Didn't I have the 94? What did I do? I did the 9430, didn't I? Or was it the 20? I don't remember. I did the two in one. I know that. Dog needs out. Got to go. Okay, Handquake. See you soon. And again, let us know if anybody's around him, including you, of course, Handquake. If you want to get together for CES, maybe we can do something. That would be great. 94, 32 and one. I don't have the, um, do I, did I, I did the two. Didn't I do that? I thought I did that. Another super chat from near term. All right, a dollar. Nice. I appreciate that, my friend. Okay. And here is the score on that. Okay, let's do a quick, I want to see the SSD on this. Let's let's do a quick uh, crystal disk mark test here. And I want to see how fast this uh, 512 gigabyte SSD is. Let's load that in, say yes. And let's hit the button and let's rock and roll on that. I guess having this channel some way is good therapy. I, you know, it's a lot of work therapy. That's what it is. Yeah, in a way, and, and a, yes, it definitely keeps me focused on goals. I'm a very goal driven, goal oriented person. So yes, and check these out. Wow, sixty seven thirty six, and this is the five hundred and twelve gigabyte one. So they're using really good stores. Yeah, that's not bad for onboard graphics, right? Uh, one bad man. Do I think this is better than the Envy? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, it's a different class of laptop. This is a more premium, I think. The Envy is great. Don't get me wrong. The Envy X360 that I that I looked at, that's a lesser, more less expensive, but no less. I mean, it's still good. It gets good performance for what for its price range and so forth. And you can get a lot out of it. A little bang for the buck. Good price to performance ratio. But this, I think, is just a little bit different, right? It has a different crowd. This is geared towards businesses, small to medium businesses, large corporations will roll these out in their fleet. 5G connectivity is gonna be something they're gonna need, the V Pro they're gonna need. Always love these live streams. You are very, they are very informative, know your stuff. Thank you, I appreciate that. Six, Maxwell, 99. How How is the back heat uh, while handwriting. So it's warm a little bit. I feel it warm, but nothing hot. So actually it's pretty lukewarm. It's actually pretty good. You do feel a little bit of warm right here. Um, and then as a pen, we can take a look at the pen in a moment. Let me, uh, let me hit this. This is a whiteboard. Uh, so sad that I'm late. Just wanted to say you make the best reviews. I appreciate on An Andrea Mar Marich. I hope I said your name right. I just bought the NVX 360 after watching my review. You know, it's good. I actually like it. It's really good. But they were asking, is this going to be the same as quality? This is going to be a little bit different, people. But what they were able to do on the 2022 HP Spectre, especially with the webcam and much improved, better hinges, because that was the other criticism. There were the hinges weren't good. A lot of improvements on that NVX 360. Do you know if the if this is the nine? watt variant no this is the uh this is a 15 watt variant so the tw core I, this is the core i7 1265u um this has again like i said 10 cores 15 watt of power 15 watts of power am i balding i am i am balding you don't see it khalid you don't see it it's what happens when you you're getting older it happens shit happens it's fine I'm aging gracefully, as they say. All right. Um, are you balding, Khalid? <laughs> or are you a child? <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Sometimes, you know, it's funny to the, some of these comments. It's obvious that you have honest, useful reviews. I enjoy watching your content. Thank you, Arcane. Thank you. These are some pretty good scores here. So far, what I'm liking here is this build quality here. 
Uh, this is feeling really good. Again, this is a polyurethane, but it's very good. There is a video that is out by HP, officially by HP, that shows you how to access the upgradable components. Theoretically, you can upgrade the battery on this also, although it's a little bit more tricky, they were telling us. But you can remove this part, the bottom part here, and that lifts up, and then you're able to access the SSD, of course, you can upgrade that. And then you can also, I think, swap out the, if you have it, obviously, the 5G modem or the 4G modem, depending which one you go with. And according to near term, let's see here. Amazing contact, uh, Andrew. I genuinely enjoy your takes on these laptops. I, can, I can't express how much I wish HP would just keep the full leather wrap on the original folio, one which I intend to own forever. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think it would be nice, but this is actually pretty nice. And this is the, I think this is the prototype here. Hold on. So we can actually see a little difference here, I think. Yeah, so this is the matte display. You can see it here. I have to, the cleanness, this is awful. I've been using this, uh, this is the prototype, which I'm sending back on Monday. But you can actually see here, let me see if I can turn it on. I don't know if it's probably out of battery, but you can see this is a matte display. This is a more glossy display. Uh, this was good, although I wanted a little bit brighter. Again, prototype versus uh, retail shipping unit, for those wondering. And this, you know, I don't. let me see if they made any changes to the keyboard here. Um, let's see here, a little bit of fingerprint marks on it, but you can see it here. So looks like everything stayed the same here. The camera is a little bit better on this one in terms of the quality. I think they did some fine tuning on it, but this all looks the same here. This doesn't look like they went from prototype to retail unit. It's very interesting. It feels, they feel the same. They should feel the same. A little bit better build on this, on this uh, retail unit. Very interesting. But I have the original here somewhere, the folio. I'd have to look for it. Oh, wait, hold on. So this one, and I already hit the thing there. You can see the mess, the mess down there. Hold on. A little sensitive there. Okay, so here is the original folio. And this one is real leather. And this one's a mess also. We got another super chat. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, so this is Gen 1, and this had the ARM processor, one of my favorites. This had that carpenter-style pen. So hold on, let me fix this. Okay, and you can see here. So we got a super chat from near term, $5, all right. I tend to send you the five dollars the first time, but for some reason was getting letting me buy the chat. Okay, I appreciate that, man. Not necessary, but definitely appreciate it. So this is the arm version, and also pull forward design. And you can go far back, by the way, as you see here. It actually goes further back. You can see it here. This actually goes the newer one goes further back than this one. So that's a little change. They no longer needed to put the pen here. You can see that here. And um, this one had the ARM processor, the 8CX Gen 2. Really? I, I still like this. I, I, they let me keep this long term. I can actually need to send it back at some point. And then this one, and this one, of course, has, uh, I think, overall better build, although this has real leather here. This is real leather. Let me take a screenshot of this. Okay. And this is real leather. No, no, this one's the vegan. And you can notice it's a little bit thicker here. You can actually see it here. It's a little bit thicker. Um, this is real leather. I don't feel too much of a difference, to be honest with you. So pretty interesting. Does the heat wear out batteries more quick? Um, yeah, always. That's a pretty general thought, rule of thumb there. If you know, more heat, obviously, will dissipate the battery a little bit more. Clock speeds going up there have to run the fans. The fans will take up more battery, hence you get less battery life. Yes, that's logical. All right, so let's see. 
why can't Windows manufacturers make a display between HD and 3K? So they do make one. It's a 2.5K display. Usually in 16-inch laptops, we see that. But here, again, when you're dealing with a 13.5-inch device, you're dealing with a 3 to 2 aspect ratio here, which is a taller nature, and you can see it here. Tall, these are taller devices. Um, and this one's really filthy. Wow, I haven't used it in a while. But you can see it here. It's a little blown out on that shot for some reason. Hold on. Let me see if I do that, if that helps. Yeah, that, that brings down that auto. There you go. I think it got the dimensions of the pen a little too correct. I think they got the dimensions of the pen a little too correct. What does that mean? So this is the pen they're going with now. See it here. And then this was the carpenter style pen from the previous gen. You can see the two here. So you can see them here. And these are the only pull forwards. Uh, uh, hold on. These are not the only pull forward. We have the Surface Laptop Studio. The Surface Laptop Studio is the other pull forward. And Acer makes the, the Concept D easel, right? Those were, and you can see how glossy this one is. And let me switch cameras. This is just because of that reflections you're seeing there. Um, you're probably getting all that. Uh, the white balance is out of, out of whack. It actually means you know. Okay. I want a 2.5K and like a 12-inch device. Yeah, not too many of those. Not too many of those in a 12-inch. And again, my, my thinking is on a 12-inch, those are small screens. I don't think you need to go beyond full HD. I don't think you need to go beyond full HD. You're going to hit the battery life and you're not going to see that much of a difference on a small screen like that. Can you check the battery health? I can, but we just uh, got it. So how do I check the battery health? Isn't There's an app, I think, or sysconfig or whatever. We, we'll, I'll, I'll check it. I promise you. We'll check it when I have more time. I know I have to get going. Will you be online on Discord after the stream? Arcane, I would love to, but I got to go get a haircut. It's starting to get a little bit, um, you know. <laughs> but everybody's liking the hair, so maybe maybe I should hold off on it. I don't know. Even the laptop pen is packing more than me. Okay. So the pen is a... So it's easier to store on the old Gen 1 than it is on this one because this is a really good solution, and this is the one that the Surface Laptop... Not the Surface Laptop Studio. Where did we see this? Oh, the Surface Pro, the Pro devices. The Laptop Studio had it underneath, remember, on that platform. So that was actually pretty good. Um, Rinaldo agrees with my take on the resolution. Yeah, I, I think that's going to be better. You know, I think that's better. But, you know, you never know. You never know. All right. Let me go back to some of the comments that I missed. Got all the super chats, so I want to thank everybody for that. Yes, I'm losing hair gracefully, Khalid. Oh, you're losing the hair gracefully. Okay. Yeah, I'm balding. There's no question. I don't care. Battery health check windows. Okay. Is there, is there an app for it, or do I have to go into the... I think I have to go into the open command admin type in power config. Here we go. Battery report. So let's, I can see what I'm doing here. So let me copy that. Let me go to the command. So terminal. Say yes. And let me. Battery life report saved to the file user battery. So it's in my, it's in user. Let's see. So I go to the, where are my users? I hate this windows crap. Okay. So 
So let's go to the let's, this PC. See, let's go to users, AD law. So here's the battery report, people. So here's the battery report brought to you by HP. <laughs> 53 watt hour battery or so, or, or that something to that effect. Primary battery, full charge capacity, 52, 976. And then battery usage here, active. For those that are wondering what's going on, this is the usage history. And uh, battery life estimates. So I think it's too early to give us estimates, right? Because we just booted this up about an hour ago. No AMD version. Nope. Yeah, I did that. We're in it now. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Okay. And this is the information you're looking for. Again, I think it's too early, but this tells you all the re the the info on it. Okay. The receding hairline is alarming. The forehead is bigger than the my entire face. Who, yours, Gerald? Not me. I look beautiful. What are you talking about? I wouldn't buy this for games, very low powered graphics. So I've talked about this uh, in previous videos that the Intel XE graphics are getting a little bit long in the tooth. However, hopefully next year, and hopefully when I go to New York, I'm gonna see some stuff. Hopefully at CES, we'll see some stuff and that will be pretty interesting. Hopefully they'll get better graphics. They tried the Arc, but I don't think the Arc, they never, interesting, none of the brands sent me an Arc, uh, anything with Arc graphics, Intel Arc graphics. So very telling. They didn't send it to reviewers. At least I didn't get one. Sadly, my unit losing full charge capacity quickly. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see. I'll test all the battery life. I'll test the thermals. I'll test the performance, obviously, on this in the full review. This is a business productivity style laptop. Absolutely. Don't look at it like a consumer laptop. But I think consumers will like it. I mean, design-wise, it's got a little style here. You can see it here. Again, this polyurethane. This is the real leather. This was Gen 1. X1 Nano better than this one? You know, X1 Nano is a pretty interesting one. We did the Gen 2 this year. You know, that's kind of in a weird place. So the X1 Nano, you know, I love because it's so light and thin. But the problem is, is that for a little bit more weight, you're going to get more ports on the X1 Carbon Gen 10. And I think a lot of people feel that way. That's why it's a more popular device. And I got a lot more views on that. Um, it's time, it, It'll keep the plug in most of the time. But the problem is, is that with the Nano, you're not really saving all that much compared to the X1 Carbon Gen 10. So it's almost hard to recommend the Nano in some sense, but it does have its advantages as being so thin and light, really ultra portable, even more so than a, a, the, X1, Yo, the X1 Carbon. But, you know, it's so not that much difference between weight and size is that, you know, it's hard to justify losing out some of the extra ports you get on the X1 Carbon. So I don't know. That's just me. I love the Nano. I did the reviews on them. So check it out if those that are interested in that. How many, um, why do we only have, how many likes do we have on this video? We only have 58 likes. What? This is what happens when I don't keep an eye on the like, you know, have people not hitting the like button. That's all right. That's okay. I kind of doubt you hit the gym. Physical health is equally important. I just lost 32 pounds, my friend. See, this is where the people are just getting dumb. You know, whatever. 58 likes. They are slackers. And they're, and they're making stupid comments today. I appreciate whoever did one bad van for getting. I don't care. Look. I get plenty of women asking me all kinds of stuff, although I'm married. Um, so that's, you know, I, yes, that is that guy's a big douche. Big douche. All right, people. So we are now 
at, uh, let's see, we're an hour and 11 minutes. I think this is a good time. All the people are out in full force today, acting a little bit weird, but that's okay. We're okay here, people. Because, Mark, people are stupid. People are just stupid. I, I, that's the only thing I can say. I, it, it boggles my mind how people can be so stupid. But whatever. Because they want attention. Because, you know, that's the way it is. Yeah. Because they're not getting... Because they're, because they're losers in life. You know, you want to be a winner... Or do you want to be a loser? So if you want to be a winner, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be a loser, then you're not hitting the subscribe button and you're not liking the videos. Everybody, I want to thank everybody. Let's get a little laughter in because you know what? We need to laugh a little bit at this, this ridiculousness. Um, I want to thank the moderators for doing such a great job, especially today. We had the trolls out, but that's okay. And I have a lot more stuff to come. I got... A lot of backlog here, so we're going to have a lot of reviews coming up where other people are just taking off December. Not me. Don't tell my wife. Not me, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I will have a lot for you people. So I'll see everybody next time. And uh, thanks for showing up and see you in the next videos. Take care, everyone, and have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.